Severe MMA, we're here at Skillin's Gym in Loughborough alongside the UFC's newest welterweight, Jimmy Wahad. And I've, I've been waiting a long time to say that. I've always asked you how important it is to get to the and you've always underplayed it. You've always, but now that it's there, now that you're there, surely it's as good as everyone says. Yeah, man, absolutely. 11 years. 11 years of, uh, of graft, ups, ups and downs, and I uh, feel like I've had a massive weight lift off my shoulders, do you know what I mean? So, I'm over the moon, mate. You know, it's kind of like the, the, the missing piece of a jigsaw puzzle. The Rough House, the, you know, the original Rough House boys, mm -hmm. they all had their shot there. Nick, Dan, Dean, Ross, Andre, and now Jimmy Wallhead gets a turn. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 100%, but like, Everything's worked out for a reason, man. I, looking back, if I'd gone then, I, w I wasn't ready, I'm, I'm ready. So, you know, it took a bit longer, but to, to, to whatever, find my feet and sort my shit out. But uh, at least this time <laughs> when I go, I'm hoping to do some damage. <laughs> Yes, and Ayari, uh, you know, this is an opponent, quite frankly, you, know, you couldn't have asked for a better opponent stylistically. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, you know, he's not a UFC. Uh, with my record, I could get put against anybody. Um, yeah, it's a, great, it's, a, it's a great debut, but he's not a gimme. You know what I mean? The guy's on like a six or eight fight win streak. Um, he's a big guy. He's a well-rounded fighter. Anyone, anyone can knock anyone out, as I know. Um, on the scale of things, as a UFC debut, yeah, it's a nice fight. But my God, I'm not overlooking the guy. You know, he's in Hamburg. He's, he's you know, he's in, I think it's his hometown, or it's his home country. The guy's going to try and kill me. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, you know, the, probably the toughest fight of my career because of the, the the situation. So I'm not. People, a few people are saying that. Oh, it's a great debut. Yeah, it's a great debut, absolutely. But. Um, 100% taking this guy, you know, a million percent serious. The, the news came out whilst you were away. Uh, did, uh, you were away w with family, and, you know. Did that, did that kind of make it easier to, you know, keep you grounded, you know, because you got that news while you were doing something of great personal? Uh, mate, not, not particularly. No, I've been, like a few people say, oh, I bet you, you booed your eyes out, I bet you cried your eyes out. Like, mate, as soon as I found out, I've literally, like I said a minute ago, I feel like I've had the weight lift off my shoulders. I've just been buzzing. I've been buzzing. Like I said to you guys earlier, I was training hard before I went away, helping teammates prepare for Bellasaur. And so I knew I was having f uh, three weeks off for the holiday. I've really pushed myself. Um, had a few days off on holiday, like seven days, and I got the call. Found a gym out there, smashed my cardio for the rest of the holiday. Come back, I've PB'ing on my, on my cardio at London Shoot. But, um, I'm ready, man. I feel great. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I just can't, yeah, I can't fucking believe it, man. <laughs> you, you, you've mentioned it a couple of times, London Shoot, and mm. since you've been there, there has been, there's been, there's been a change. Certainly your consistency has been right on, and, and your performances have really improved. Uh, how, how important have they to the fact that you're here? Yeah, yeah, massive. Uh, you know, it's everything. <laughs> you beat MVP to the UFC, you know that, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only because his contract is somewhere else. <laughs> Man's, man's, a, man's a killer. Um, yeah, it's time to them, mate. I've never had any real, not not slagging off my past or anything like that. Like I appreciate every bit of journey, every bit of this journey I've been on, but I've never had anyone like Alexis and uh, Paul, Alexis Dimitriadis and Paul Ivans coaching me and leading my way and being coached. I've always half coached myself and half made my own decisions and left it to my own devices. And now I'm I'm being led by two two world-class coaches, two of the best geezers I've ever met in my life, and I'm just, I'm lucky, man. It's got to give you a bit of confidence. I mean, I spoke to MVP a little while ago, and he was saying, what a beast you were. And like everyone, again, MVP with the Bellator and the undefeated streak, but he was saying, man, judo Jimmy Warhead again. Talk about some of the guys that you train with, and just how do they help improve you? Uh, <laughs> you, you know, MVP, it's got to be, I mean, sparring with him must be a hoot. D horrible. <laughs> yeah, who, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, Michael, Michael's doing my corner at the fight. Um, yeah, he's... I've, 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 sparred, I've been all, well, I've sparred all sorts of people. I've, I've fought a lot of people. There's no one like Michael Page. <laughs> so if I could touch Michael Page with my hands, and uh, then I, uh, I should be able to knock out mere mortals. That's my mindset on that. If I can, if I can land one jab on Michael Page, I can knock out mere mortals. Um, yeah, guy's phenomenal. All the guys there, Shipman's phenomenal. All, 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 everyone out London shoot is phenomenal. The guys coming through in the amateurs and just trying out in the next, you know, five years, people. Are, I don't want to wait. Yeah. Let people see Javid, Farid, Jack, Joe Young, Norbert, uh, crazy, crazy, Jack, Jack Andrews, amazing, amazing. These young kids, yeah, 
I learn off them. That's how good these young kids are at shooting. These amateur kids are absolutely phenomenal. One of the joys I've had being over interviewing you over the past six years is whenever I've seen you happy, uh, genuinely, like right now I'm scared to death because I know there's a headlock or something coming. But a happy Jimmy Wallhead is a dangerous Jimmy Wallhead. Yeah, just, how, just how dangerous are you right now? I, f I feel great. I feel great. I'm, I'm enjoying every day. I'm working hard. And I say it. I'm happy because... You know, I'm, everything's right. You know, everything's right in my life, personal life. Physically, I'm great. I'm, I'm great. I'm ready to go, man. I'm Dan happy. I can, I'm, I'm, I can. I sleep well at night. Dan Hardy coming down to, to yeah, work some pads with you in a yeah, little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know, there's every chance he he could be calling your fight. Does that make it? Does that, yeah, that yeah. make it a little bit more special? Does that put any yeah, any man. pressure on you? On yeah, the shoulders? Man, I, I love Dan to bits. If it wasn't for Dan, I never would have joined the Rough House. We've been we've gone through some great things together. He's, he's uh, Mate, he's like a brother in it, you know what I mean? He's a, he's a great guy. And uh, to have him call in my fight, and he's been helping me out for you know, the last couple of months as well, a lot since he's been back in the UK, and I really, really appreciate his time and his, uh, obviously his knowledge and his experience. Learned some good things off him, and like I said, man, everything's falling into place, so I'm happy. Jim, uh, you got a training session before I let you go. I always ask this question. Yeah, I didn't yeah. prep you. Is there anybody you want to thank? Yeah, of course, man. I want to thank... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, I want to thank, obviously, London Shoot Fighters, everyone involved with Team Order, John Skilling here. Uh, John Skilling's mixed martial arts. He helps me out a lot with all my training. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, most importantly, my, 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 main, my main sponsor, Grey Ridgeway, and all the guys at Quality Assure Valentin. Um, their support makes everything a lot easier for me. You know, the, it's, it's very hard to be a fighter financially. Um, they, 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 they aid me a lot, it's a massive help. Um, just everybody's got my back. All, all the guys, Simon Haslam. There's a lot of guys who help me out. You know what I mean? A lot of guys who help me out. And uh, my manager, Matt Walton, almost forgot Matt. Oh, you can't forget. Matt's done no end for me mentally and just got everything in my, helps me out in my personal life. Matt, Matt Walton's always there for me. Spikes Athletics, my manager, a great guy who's, uh, who's got my back. I've got some amazing people who have got my back. And um, yeah, each and every one of them, I forgot your name, I'm sorry, I'm useless. <laughs> but uh, each and every one of you. Yeah, you mean the world to me. I'm very grateful. Well, I'm sorry, one more. It's it's only four weeks away. Can it, can it come soon enough? Would you be just as happy if it was next week? Or you yeah, know? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Like I said, I'm PBing on my cardio. Uh, feeling good on my job, a bit more sparring. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. I can't wait.